Creating the mountain range map was the hardest part of the entire process for me, although it was an idea I'd had for a while. On one of my earlier Superior Hiking Trail videos, I briefly toyed with the idea of having an overlay in the upper right hand corner that showed where I was on trail, but at the time, my skills in video making were not very confident, and I had enough trouble figuring out which picture profile to shoot in, how to color grade log footage, and even what export settings to use. So making a virtual map overlay quickly got the axe as I focused on the fundamentals. However, as I continued making videos and hiking, that idea of having the entire mountain range stuck with me, and by the time that I got back from this Colorado adventure, I figured I had advanced my skills enough with DaVinci Resolve's fusion tool that I could do it. That was half true. What you're seeing right now is definitely not DaVinci Resolve, it's a program called Blender. But I actually did get a working version of this map created in fusion, with only a few hours of work. I'll cut to that now. It plays the full 3D mountain range very similar to what I eventually created in Blender, but the issue here was that the Fusion Editor doesn't play nicely when you only have 6GB of memory on your graphics card, and alas, this happened a lot. So I optimized my files, compressed what I could, and eventually got some really promising results, but this was as far as my luck went, and it took an enormous amount of coaching to render this without crashing. The map files I wanted to use were simply too big, they detailed too much, and Fusion really wasn't made for this type of work, especially with such little memory. I felt kind of bad pushing it so hard. So I scrapped it all, downloaded Blender, and got to work learning an entirely new visual effects program just so I could make a map for a hiking video. They make entire CG movies inside of Blender. I felt like I was using a rocket ship to light a candle for mood lighting. Anyway, I spent about two months working on the map, and the hardest parts were not what I expected. Getting the terrain to generate? Relatively straightforward. Making the glowing line rest on top of the terrain? That was a straight week of dead ends before I stumbled upon the solution. Getting the camera to follow this roller coaster type path for animating was another week. But in the end, I absolutely loved making this in Blender, and the quality I got from it was an enormous step up from what I was expecting. The ability to add depth of field background blur, volumetric lighting, and even animate a sunset for the end of the video felt like flying with creative freedom. I should probably explain what all the dots in the bottom left corner of the screen are. Those are the keyframes for every element in the animation. Essentially, to animate this, I told the camera to be at a certain position on that green line, let's say 0 meters at frame 0, and then told it that at frame 500, it needed to be 3.7 meters along that green line. The software then smoothly animates the camera from 0 to 3.7 meters along that line at every frame from 0 to 500. That's the basics of animation, telling objects to be at certain positions at certain times and letting the software interpolate between them. All those dots represent those animation points, they're known as keyframes, and this required a lot of them to get the animation just right. I should note that attaching the camera to the green line like a roller coaster is not the conventional way to animate a camera. However, by making it into a roller coaster, I was able to see the path the camera takes and manipulate that directly to get the exact motion I wanted. Additionally, instead of animating all six attributes, X, Y, Z, pitch, roll, yaw, I only had to focus on the position of the camera along the path. For this project, it really made things easier. In all, I'm thrilled with how this whole element turned out, and I'm glad I figured out how to do something like this in time for such a wonderful adventure like the Collegiate Loop. I'll let the rest of this play out. Even after spending months working on this, there is something quite satisfying about watching that little glowing line weave through the mountains, and remember when I walked that same path.